Chapter 1 Jesus and the Father The place to begin such a course of studies is in Jesus' relations to the Father. In these were the primary and ruling principles of his life. The heart of Jesus conceived God in his fatherly relationship rather than in his creative power or his omnipotent dignity. In speaking to him, Jesus constantly addressed him as Father. See Matthew 11:25, John 11:41 and 17 verse 5, Matthew 26 verses 39 and 42, also Luke 23 verses 34 and 46. There is no record of his ever having addressed God by such titles as, O Almighty God, or Infinite and Eternal One. His speech drew God very near. Christian life takes a great deal of its tone from its fashion of conceiving God. Is he to us primarily the great and holy one who inhabiteth eternity? Or is he the dear father God, whom our hearts call Abba, the child's first phrasing of its father's name? He was this to Jesus. Jesus' familiar address to God could never incline by a hair's breadth to irreverence. In his most solemn prayer, he called God, O righteous Father, O holy Father. See John 17, verses 11 and 25. Jesus openly avowed the complete subordination of his life and will to the Father. See John chapter 6, verse 38, and chapter 8, verse 29. And this was not only a fervent longing of his consecrated heart, it was an actual accomplishment. In his life, he declared men saw the Father, John 14, 9. In his doctrine, the Father was speaking, John 14, 10. In his working, God was at work and responsible for all, John 5, 19 and Luke 8, 39. Jesus' identification with the Father was stated by our Lord in terms so comprehensive as to cover all of his life. Look up each of the following passages and frame from them a statement of the scope of this identification. John chapter 8, verse 42, chapter 5, verse 23, chapter 8, verse 28, chapter 12, verse 49, Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, John chapter 14, verse 7, chapter 10, verse 30. And see how many times in the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th chapters of John alone, Jesus refers to himself as one sent, a man on a mission. That was what he was. Are we to be otherwise? See John chapter 20, verse 21. The two great principles underlying all this were the principles of fellowship and obedience. Indeed, perfect fellowship means that self-surrender which is obedience. To know God as Father is to know and to do his will and be close to him. The Jews complained of Jesus on this account because he, quote, called God his own Father, making himself equal with God. John chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. What Jesus was to the Father, the Father would have me be. What the Father was to Jesus, the Father would, in all possible measure, be to me.